I'm in Antigua, Guatemala at the moment. Show me around. This used to be, and we will keep on walking. It used to be the capital of the Kingdom of Guatemala until an earthquake in the 1770s destroyed it. After that, the Spanish built another capital and that capital became Guatemala City. And after the independence of Central America, Guatemala City remains the capital and became the capital of the present day Republic of Guatemala. Well, there are many ruins over here that reconstructed everything because Spanish built a new capital several kilometers away. When I was in the car, I was the one driving, but the driver brought us here. I was amazed at the landscape. Not because of the landscape, but because the Spanish constructed roads throughout that hilly landscape. They had no Wi-Fi, they had no satellites, if those things really exist to begin with. They had none of that. The only thing they had were sail ships, horses, chariots. That's what they had. And they constructed a whole country. They established a capital. And when that capital was destroyed by an earthquake, they built a new one very soon. They were dedicated. And here's the thing, Spain at the time didn't even have their own flag. Their own flag came after the, after the construction of the new capital for Central America. So without a national flag, without national unity, because there wasn't even a real country called Spain. Spain was a gathering for the crowns of Castile and Leon and Aragon and all of that. Despite all of that, they managed to construct kingdoms built institutions overseas. That shows you that when people come together that gate they can accomplish things. I don't think they will also accomplish what they intend to accomplish, but they will accomplish things when they operate in unity. Let me keep on walking. The people here are a bit tiny, compared to me at least. I didn't have used to that. Just like in Japan, people are a bit smaller. I'm 181 centimeters. Ah, this is a ruin of one of the buildings that the Spanish used. Again, you see it correctly? Yes. You can see the sun symbols in it. It's Roman Catholic, so it's, it's obvious. The demonic entities that they portray as saints. And that's, I'm, I can't be wrong about this, but anyway, it doesn't matter, it's still a beautiful building over there. No, I'm sorry, that's good. It's not, no. Someone tries to sell me something, I was going to do it. This here, I believe this used to be the governor's palace of the governor of the kingdom of Guatemala. Yes, I think this was this was the residence of the governor. Now instead of this flag of Spain, you have the flag of the Republic of Guatemala on the, on the pole. Before the in the 1760s, this place would have been occupied with ministers, that means politicians, uh, foreign diplomats, and also people that wanted to benefit from the Spanish administration. There would be many horses around, many chariots. It was, this was an occupied capital back then. Today is a, mostly a tourist attraction. The thing I love about this is that the Guatemalan people preserve their heritage. If though the heritage was constructed by Spain, their ancestors also helped build, helped, helped building it. Their ancestors also contributed to it, so they preserved their heritage.
and believers can learn from that. Well, don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to rest. I'm going to restaurant soon to uh, get something for my stomach. I've read the novels in which this place. Um, uh, let me say, I've read the novels in which this place was the central theme, because my historical novel, my historical fiction, is based on the Spanish Empire most of the time. It's good to really be here and see it for myself. Good inspiration for when I want to turn my books into films, when the Lord permits that to happen. Well, believers, as I always say, I agree with Christ and learn from this that I'm showing you. Learn from Spanish history, learn from what the Spaniards did, learn from the, what, the, what the Muslim people did afterwards. Learn from this. When people are united, they are of one accord, they can accomplish things and things that can last. Well, the only true kingdom that will last forever is God's kingdom. The kingdom of Guatemala was very prosperous. It was a very wealthy kingdom. Well, it uh, faded away. Today you have uh, Spanish-speaking republics in Central America. Some of them are impoverished, they are haunted by crime and poverty. The kingdom of Guatemala passed, but the God's kingdom will last forever. So if for the temporal kingdom, that the Spanish created, they invested. Why aren't believers investing on behalf of the kingdom of God? Well, time for the restaurant. I agree with Christ and be at peace.